Hello, my friend. Thank you for being here. And I hope you are having a wonderful time. And here I am with the second video related to this uh, convertible tab. This is a 1932 Ford Raptor uh, Model A. And in the last video, I showed you how you can cut, how you can prepare everything and trace it. And that was on the last video related to this convertible tab. So the video number one. On this video, I am still working on this convertible tab but I will show you how you can uh, reinforce this uh, top, how you can sew it together, how you can um, sew in the rear window. So all that process you will see it on this video. So once again, if you are a, a professional doing a convertible top, this video might not have nothing new for you. But if you are learning, this video will show you uh, some tips and tricks how you can uh, approach or make a convertible top from scratch. So I removed the top and here I am. So uh, this is the front part. The front part, uh, three pieces uh, uh, for, uh, for the uh, front part. Two side panel and the center piece. I show you how you can cut the, uh, how you can trace the passenger side, but both sides have to be even. Just make sure to uh, check because when the car is old or when it's not original, this is a, a aftermarket or replica, you have to make sure uh, that those are the driver's side and the passenger side are equal, especially in on all car. If you're going to cut that part, the side, uh, check it because sometimes the car has been involved in an accident or they, they may like an adjustment on the uh, passenger or driver uh, side window and they are not even. So I am cutting this piece of material uh, out, of, out of plastic. See that will be for reinforce. A lot of people uh, put plastic. People who make a portable tap they use plastic a lot. But some uh, guy who make a convertible tap they don't put plastic so they just reinforce with the same um, stay fast material or canvas material the purpose for me to put plastic is to make that part strong why do I need that part strong I need that part strong because this car doesn't have a window on the side and when the car is, uh, uh, let's say the car is running over 60 miles or 50 miles per hour. I don't want that part of the convertible top move, move with the wind or if it is rain, I don't want that to move it. I want to stay solid. It will move because it doesn't have nothing to hold in there, but that would be minimum. So that's why I'm cutting that plastic to make that part heavy and strong. And I am not going to put only plastic. I will put a, a stay fast material, I mean a canvas material. That's what I, 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 I put plastic. Always when I make a convertible tap, I put plastic on it. I don't know if you notice, guys, you who make a, a convertible tap, uh, classic cars sometimes come with plastic. Even the new car on that area come with plastic. I know it is hard to see it, but if you want to stitch the side panel, in the driver's side, uh, the driver's side, you will see a piece of plastic in there. Even on the back, they have plastic. Some car, no all. Like Mustang in uh, 1994 to 2005, it doesn't have plastic, but just have a, like a reinforced material in there. So I cut the plastic already, and I cut the stay fast material because I would put a one layer of plastic. Then on top of that, I would put Plus, I mean, one layer of plastic and then another layer of uh, canvas material. And after I cut the plastic, I'm going to cut the, uh, this material. This is fabric. This is soft, but it's a strong fabric. Where I will put the fabric? Right there. You see that line all the way across? I will sew that uh, fabric in there. With that fabric, I will hold the convertible top to the frame. 
because it doesn't have wood so i have to find a way how how I can attach that piece to there do you see those screw that fabric will uh, go on top of those screw so i am giving that piece three inches and i will make it on pieces because it's a big piece and i don't want to cut a big piece so right here I'm, i will make it on pieces three inches And I cut in those three pieces. If I have to cut more, I will. But I think it with three is enough. So I got them on there. So now I got the plastic, the side panel plastic, and I got that uh, fabric material. Now I'm going to cut that reinforce for this area that is the real panel and you see I am tracing I will make that piece on two I don't want I don't going to I am not going to make it on one that material is just to reinforce if you install a convertible tab like BMW Mercedes and all those kind of car I think even Corbett Camaro uh, 1994 they had that material to reinforce that area just the material that's all material and some BMW and Mercedes they had the material to reinforce and in the, on the around in the corner they had like plastic just to make it strong the corner To add a plastic on that area, it is not new. It is not new. Some people are uh, uh, still using it, same technique like me. I use it because to me it worth it. Look nice at the end, and that's what I want to look nice at the end. Give it like more body to that part of the Cambodian top. So I got the two pieces that's for the rear, and I'm going to cut uh, two pieces of plastic too. And I got it. So I cut the plastic already. And I didn't show you how to cut it. But the plastic is there. You see the plastic is first. Then it's a uh, the, uh, the, uh, cloth material. And then I will put this fabric in there. With the same stitch. I will get four pieces. There is that the cloth on top, then the plastic, then another layer of cloth, then I will put the fabric under there. If you don't have a skill using the sewing machine, my advice to you is first practice it before just doing the, the still do, do this. Because you can cut it by watching me, you can trace it just by watching me, but you are not going to sew just by watching me. No, you have to have that skill. You have to know the basics about how to use the sewing machine. And very important, check your sewing machine before you start sewing. Uh, change, replace the bobbin because you don't want that to uh, uh, skip or break and the thread in the middle of the seam. So make sure, and your exp according to your experience, that's the faster that you will sewing. If you don't have experience, go slow. It is not necessary to go fast. The most important thing is to uh, this part come out nicely. That's the most important thing. It's not the, the speed or... So that is the half. You see, and I hold those pieces with a staple, and you see me, I am removing those pieces. I am removing those staple. If you are learning about a poster, don't be afraid to make a Cambodian tap. But for sure, for sure, you have to watch the video so many times, and you have to have the skill. If you are working in a poster and you never done a Cambodian tap, 
watch that video a few times and then um, trace it. Classic car like Ford from 1930 to 1940, can uh, or hot rod. That process is similar. Mustang on those other models are a little bit different. You see me sewing the plastic and you see me cutting around that. I just cut them even. Uh, that way three pieces are even now. And I'm going to put one more stitch, but at the same time, I will put this one under there. This will be just for the pull. And that part has plastic already, so that means it's heavy. And it's strong. And I am sewing exactly on top of the line. And you can see him on there. Sewing that piece all the way. See, there is the half, and I will put the fabric in there because I, uh, like I say, I I gonna make it on pieces. It is not necessary to make it one piece. Of course, if you have a, a extra material, and you wanna make it on one, that's set to you. And there it is a little by little. If it, this was like Mustang or, or 1994 Mustang or let's say a Corbett 1954, uh, it's a big difference between those two cars. Uh, Mustang go with the staple on the bottom, and Corbett uh, go with the staple too. But the the top part is totally different totally different it's a big difference so I am cutting you see I am cutting the excess material in there I don't need it if I leave the material in there it's not going to hurt me it's going to bother me in there see I'm going to cut it all the way like that all the way you see it has to be sharp to cut it all this and I cut him already and you can see him on there so now it's time to start cutting the rear window S to cut this window uh, that is the glass that I'm going to use KO glass for the gauges vinyl window material 29 by 68 sometimes it's 24 by 54 all depends the brand that you're using and this is a good plastic because you can wash it and you can clean it. Good plastic. For real window, you have to be that kind of plastic. And you can put soft and all those kind of stuff when you are washing your car. And I cut this plastic big. I don't cut it short, I cut it big. And then the other layer of or cloth or canvas material, I will cut it big too. I hear this, I hear put a hot air on this piece because you see it's not straight and I want to make it as straight as possible. I just make a cut right there. It's better to make it now because if you try to make it when the glass is there, it will be hard for you to do it. So I got it. I had to draw some lime in there. You see, I am holding those pieces with staple, uh, with grappas, staple. And after I hold that piece with uh, uh, grappas, uh, staple, now I gotta draw some line. I gotta draw two more line. The From one line to another one right now, it had eight and a half by 24. And I am drawing another line that this from this line to the another light that I'm going to draw will have ten and a half. Ten and a half by twenty uh, six. And there is the first two lines. 
uh, the one from the top and the one from the bottom. Now I have to make one more, uh, two more, uh, the, from the right to the left, and you can see them on there. It's one inch away from that first line. Now I got it, you see, like, uh, uh, that is just gonna make it like round a little bit, those corners. Some people prefer like how it is, but uh, uh, this customer, he wanted like round it. And to me, my own opinion, look better like round, a little bit round it. Not too much. And that is. And same thing on the other side. And I got four corners, so now I gotta uh, take it to a sewing machine and put that, that lime in there. Right there. And here I am. So I'm going to put this uh, seam right there on top of the yellow mark. I am using a chalk to mark this uh, glass. And just make sure to be exactly on top of that line. all the way the material that is behind the bottom uh, is protecting the glass the clear plastic always always if you are not going to put a like, material behind make sure to put at least some paper where you are sewing it because you have to try to avoid any scratches any uh, damage from the to the plastic uh, just make sure that you have to take all those precautions before you start sewing it in case if we don't put material behind but i recommend you to put material behind i really recommend you that part just to make sure and i got that stitch that stitch is done so i gotta finish right there exactly and I gotta make a knot from behind now I have to cut it right here all the way all around see just like one quarter away from that mark and I already cut it and you can see that scene right there it look nice and that's the first scene that is the other scene that is holding the fabric in place and I already cut them on there. It is easy this way. Now I have to put a seam right there. You see, I draw another line behind the seam. And I'm going to cut it right now exactly on the inside mark. Right there. I got to cut it all the way around. Like that. Then I'm going to fold in and hold that material with a, a stitch. Like that. So I cut the outside already and I just have to cut it right there. Then I have to make some cut, especially on that round that rounded part uh, to fold the material in. But before doing that, you know, I have to protect the plastic. That's this is very important. I'm not going to put a fabric. I'm going to use the same paper where uh, um, they chip it. They roll it and they chip it on this plastic. So I go into it. The same plastic, you see those cuts that I made it are so important. Without those cuts, you are not going to able nicely. So make sure to make it. And I go into make sure the machine is sewing in pretty good condition. Like always, I recommend you to do that, especially when you're going to do a, a expensive, uh, mat going to sew like expensive material. Oh, it, it's not expensive, but material that you don't have that much, you don't have an extra. So you gotta make sure to check your sewing machine. Always, always, guy. Now I gotta start putting this last stitch on this window. And pay attention, see I fold it in exactly where the yellow mark is. From one stitch to another, the stitch will be one inch. See, and I fold it. And I will start sewing it. 
slow and straight. You have to be you have to make sure that this is teach is straight. If you don't have experience sewing like right here a stretch, you have to draw another mark and sew on top of that mark. On this material, you have to fold it in. You have to. Otherwise, you will have to put like a banding all around. And that, to me, to me, look good, but you have to know how to make it. If you don't have experience, you don't know how to make it. Uh, that would look ugly. Look ugly. I don't know if you pay attention when I was taking apart the old one. Or oh, I think I showed you some. I, I'm not sure. But that old window on the old top. Oh, man, it was a mess right there. And you can see it, uh, right here. All this is time, my friend. But if it's something take you uh, f or longer, you have to charge the customer because it's, it's and I am sewing a little by little by little until I reach the other end. As if you are using a flat uh, a foot presser, that is excellent too. I am going to give you another view right here. That way you can see it. All this it is practicing, my friend. All this it is practicing. I was thinking to cut that part. Uh, yes, sewing from the beginning and uh, don't show you the whole process about sewing this uh, plastic window. But I, I decided not to. At the end, I decided no beca because there are a lot of people who are learning about upholstery. And I want you to see the whole process of sewing this. This is so important. You can apply this technique in any compatible tab. And the sewing process is done. The rear window. Now it is time to uh, reinforce. I have to reinforce this. You can see it is done. And before to reinforce, I'm going to put the rear piece with the front piece together with one seam. That's what I'm going to do right now. And I take a half inch in. Most of the time I give it three quarter uh, of an inch extra for the seam. But on this time I forgot to do it. So I just take a half inch. If you are going to make one uh, compatible tab, give it a three quarter of an inch. That would be work perfectly. And you can fold it without uh, having like a hard time to fold it, those kind of extra. Like right there, I'm going to put a top stitch. And I will put a material uh, with that top stitch. See, I am putting that top stitch. And that is going on the top piece. In the top, the top stitch is not going on the uh, win window piece. No, it's going on the top piece. 
and like you always that tap stitch you have to be straight a lot of people don't put that tap stitch in there on the rear bar but I always do I always put that tap stitch because uh, give you like like nice look I don't want it to see like simple on there See, I open the material to the side of the needle. Always, when you're going to pull a tap stitch, you have to do it that way. And there is. I put the fabric on the back, so now I have to put this uh, plastic in there. What is this plastic for? The function of this plastic is just to reinforce that area. That's it. That is the function of this plastic. And I already cut the fabric too. A lot of convertible top have the plastic in there and had the uh, the same material as the uh, behind. Had two uh, in total three pieces, but a lot of convertible top only had two. The one for uh, one is on the top and they put another layer of the same material as the top on the bottom. They don't put the plastic in there. I like to put plastic in there because make that part strong. You know when it's raining. Or when the car is on the highway, I don't want that part to shake it, to move it. It will move, but it will be minimal. No, if it move that part, this car doesn't have like like window in there. I uh, will make like noise, and I don't want that to happen. So that's what I'm putting, uh, reinforcing that part with clear plastic. And I'm making sure to make that side coming like plain. I don't want to wrinkle on the top piece. Nothing at all. I want it to be straightest. And I got that side already. So I'm going to do the other side. Then I have to put another plastic on the rear area. But before to do that, I have to uh, measurement right here will be inch and a half because I have to put two stitch on there. right there two inch but at, at, at the front will finish at one inch and this part of this uh carpenter square have one inch and then i draw a straight line in there so convertible top it had two inches on that part even two inches all the way from one end to another end two inches this one i am giving an uh, inch and a half because two inches too much on this convertible top, then I'm going to put a stitch in there, and I will uh, remove all those staples that I put them in there. If you never done a convertible try, uh, convertible top and you know how like clear plastic to reinforce that part put double layer or canvas comeback materials canvas material double layer to make it strong and so in that part together i say i'm going slow because i want you to get the whole idea how to sort this part and you see i cut that plastic like three inches before the front end because I will saw another material right there this material will be for the pole because I will put a staple on that part and all convertible top even the new one has something like that piece that I'm going to add with that stitch in there even the new convertible top it's not only because it is all no so I got it right there and now I'm going to cut it all the way. And now I'm going to put the second stitch in there. I 
Okay, after I put this stitch, I'm going to put the banding all around because the size and the rear area of this convertible tab, it, it is reinforced with plastic already. So now it's, ty it's time to finish, uh, make a nice finish on this part. And I'm going to start putting that banding all around, except the front. They say all that banding ready-made. It is better to uh, use those kind of banding ready-made because are for uh, those kind of job, are for this kind of job. If you, if you can get this uh, banding ready-made, you will have to make it. But the thing is when you have to, when you're going to make it, the material is too thick. You have to know how to make it. You have to cut at least inch and a half width by whatever long it is and take less as possible. Sometime I have to use, I have to make it, that banding. See, not slow, so in a slow, especially on that curve. I don't want that part to come in with wrinkle. If you don't know how to do it, that part will come out with wrinkle. And I am making some cut on the banding. Right there. And I will sew that part all around, all around. That corner you have to make an eye because uh, uh, it's, it's right there. People can see it, customer can see it, everybody can see that part. So all this it has to be nice. And I, I am not going to show you the whole process of putting this banding all around. Because it is the same, I'm just going to show you the half and I almost reached to the half of this uh, banding process. And there is the half. And I am put banding all around, so you can see them on there, and I saw that part in there. So that is the front part, and this convertible tab, I has to um, start putting on. And here I am, my friend, removing this frame because I'm going to uh, glue this tab on the table. I'm not going to do it right here because it is not wood. I have to put a lot of glue in there and it's easy to make it on the table. Some convertible tab, you have to make it on the car, install it on the car. But on this one, it is, uh, it's kind of hard to do it on the car. So I am removing all this. I, I don't need that rough anymore. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to remove that frame out of the car. So I got the frame out of the car. Now it is time to um, put the convertible tab into the rear part of that frame. And to do that, I'm going to put glue on that uh, rear bar, that top bar, a lot of glue, just on two bar. A lot of glue, you have to put a lot of glue in there. And you see, I am putting a lot of glue in there. If it, if it, this glue dry, it won't stick the uh, um, cloth material to the frame. So I will have to add more glue. Now I will put glue on that material. And I will put glue on the bottom part. 
there is a fabric in there the fabric that I cut it like three inches so that's the fabric that I'm going to put glue I don't want to put glue only on that part I have to spend some time right here putting glue because I don't want to make a big mess and you can see it had glue already so I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put the frame and that is the rear bar the bottom one you have to find the center of the frame and you have to know where is the center on the convertible top uh, there is the frame, the center, and make sure to put uh, one mark on top of the other one because you don't want the driver or the passenger side to be longer or shorter. No, both they have to be equal. That is the center, and I just put it right there. And that fabric material that I saw it is going to uh, wrap the bar. That will be the function. See. The stitch you have to be exactly on the middle of that bar. All around on the middle. If you put on the side, it's not going to uh, reach the fiberglass of the car. And you can see it is exactly on the center. And that part has glue already. So now I have to twist it this way and I start putting that part in there. It is dry. I will see if it, that glue can uh, stick in there. And I have to make sure. And right there, I will cover those screws that I put it to hold that strap in there, that webbing. That material will cover those screws and will cover the end of the strap. that's why it is so important to use a, a flexible uh, fabric if you are going to uh, wrap like a bar and don't use the convertible top material how you notice mercedes and bmw all the material that is wrapping at the bar mercedes and bmw have a lot of have like three bar that they added like a very very soft fabric to wrap those bar same thing I did right here something soft and flexible and it's stretchy it is easier to use a nice fabric in here and it has to be a strong too see I am wrapping completely that bar customer won't see that part at all see Check in there, guys. That part is completely wrapped. And I have to trim a little bit right there because it's too much. But I give it three inches. Three inches is more than no. I already knew it that I'm going to cut it. And I already uh, put glue on all that part and stick that part, that uh, fabric to the uh, frame. I just say I'm cleaning right now. And then after this, I will take it to the car and start putting them on. See that easy?
It is easy. It is not hard. Just you have to know how to do it. I can give you an idea how you can do it. And that is done. In case if you are dying and still seeing some metal in there, I will paint it. Like right there, I will paint it. So there are three holes. I'm going to bring the top and I'm going to screw, put those three screws in there. And like right now, I just put them on. Those screws are not tight. I will tie them at the end. Right here, the hardest part is done. I'm just going to uh, pull all this forward. First, I got to uh, uh, lock the front part of this convertible top. And it had like a cup bar in there. I am going to tie it a little bit right there on the, the center of the screw. So now I'm making sure to put this in place. Right there. I'm going to put that screw inside the hole. It is so easier this way to compare it to how it was before. Before you had to hold it in pl place, then you had to put the screw from outside to inside. Now I just put that nut in there. So easy, my friend. If the customer wanna change that nut for a nice one, he can do it. That's not gonna be a big deal. That screw is in there. Now I unlock in this part, keep that convertible tab in play. And look guys, I haven't pulled nothing on the front and looked up the rear area. It's done. That look nice. This look nice. I don't like the window because it's too big, but that's the customer idea. So I just got to do what he wants. So I am not bad to, I can tell him, oh, I don't like it. If he asked me for opinion, oh, I can tell, you know what? It's too, like the way I see it, it's too big, but they are the one, they are the one who's paying. And we gotta do uh, 90% 90, 90 of the time, we gotta do what they say. The other 10% of the time we have to, um, do uh, what is the right thing to do some customer work with us some customer they say oh i have this idea but do you have a better idea and which we reach into an agreement about that how we're going to work you saw me right there i just put a mark in there and i'm going to staple that edge of that wood would be exactly on that mark you see, you saw me sewing that piece of material. That's what it is to hold that area in place. That's what it is. All convertible tab, I would say like 95% had that material in there. And some of them, or the new Mercedes, are 2018, 2017, and 2019. I think from the 16 ahead. It doesn't have the material. It doesn't have material, but it have a plastic. And that plastic wrapped to another plastic. Same thing with ball, uh, ball, ball bar and beetle. It doesn't have material in there, but it have a plastic. So it made the same function. The plastic keep that area in place and the fabric keep the area in place. I am putting a staple. You saw me drawing those marks. And I staple that area those mark exactly on the edge of the wood. That is easy. That was the easy part. And it is done. I put a some a strong material in there just to uh, uh, cover those staples. And this it is done, my friend. I'm going to close it and I'm going to see how it looks. In case if you have to make any adjustment, I will. I am not, not going to hesitate to do. But I don't think so because I trace it and I mark it. I'm going to lock right here on the front. And my friend, I'm going to clean it. Plus, I gotta tie the the screw, the three screw on the rear area of this car, this convertible tab. I am tying the front uh, area with those nuts. They are going to tie a little bit. You can see, can go more down, but it's not tight at all. I 
I'm going to uh, put glue right here. You see, you didn't show me uh, sewing this piece. This is a, a, the same kind of fabric that I saw in on the rear area, the uh, rear bar. And this is the top bar. I saw the same piece of fabric and I, I put a glue already. Then I'm going to uh, stick to that bar in there. The function of that uh, fabric in there is to hold that bar in place. The bar is not going to move because it has two webbing, one on the right driver side and the other one on the passenger side to strap. But I want to make sure the top to be on top of the bar to hold that bar in place. This convertible tab if the customer wants to remove that will be so easy to do it. Sometimes they remove that the whole frame and they drive the car with a convertible tab. So you can see Mondel does a strap. The center bar is adjustable. I just put some um, uh, velcro in there. It is not tight. It is loose. This is this is not have to be tight. It has to be like like a little bit loose in case if the cotton want to adjustment, he can do it without any uh, issue. And there is the top. See the front part is not tight, but it's loose. But it's not wrinkled. It is loose, but it doesn't have wrinkle. It's a big difference. See this part, it is very important. The wearing that I put them on there, hold that part nice. A lot of people don't put that webbing, it's still looking nice. It's all about the style. And look this part on here. Oh, this is look awesome in there. Most of the time right there, it are ring on the convertible top. But on this one, it is plain, it is nice. So I'm going to clean, I'm going to remove all those uh, things that I put it to protect it. This that I put to protect the pain. Always make sure to protect the pain when you are going to work on the convertible top. No matter if it is old or new, you have to protect the pain. And this is done, my friend. This, it is done. I just blowing those uh, uh, yellow mark from the chalk. In case when you saw that clear, uh, the clear plastic coming like a no wrinkle because it had to be plain, but you can see it is like bending a little bit. When you uh, put the color under the sun, that will come out. It is a big difference when it has wrinkle. Wrinkle on plastic are hard to come out. But when it's folded and it's, you bend it when you are sewing it, you bend it, you force them in there, will have like a dust mark. Dust mark will come out. And there is done. You see the part in there? You see how strong look that part? It doesn't have nothing on there. It only had the three layer, the canvas, the stay fast material, the plastic and the material that you can see. Same thing on the front. That part is strong in there. I'm going to put a hot water in there because I don't like it right, uh, right there. I didn't like it. So, but the hot water will uh, make that wrinkle come out. Just a small wrinkle on the passenger side. But with hot water and steam, you will make in case if it's a stay fast material, have a, a small wrinkle, the steamer and the hot water will make those wrinkles come out. See that part? I love, I love that part how it look. looks so strong. Right there too. And you see the strap right there, the webbing? It's holding the part in place, but at the same time it's covered the stitch. I put that knot in there. Uh, the customer uh, might change that because uh, I don't like that part, but I put it that way because it is easier for him to put the top compared to how it was before. It is so easy right now, but he can replace that knot for a nice one. Chrome knot, a nice one. I put that stitch on there and That part is nice. It did come out nice. It's not because I made it. 
I can tell when something is nice. And sometimes when I make something and I don't like it, I told, I tell you, I don't like that part and I will fix it later. I told you that. See that part have a lot, a lot of wrinkle. What I did is, uh, like I did this like a two hours uh, ago. I put hot water, then I put a steamer. A steamer is uh, made uh, on fabric. Oh, I use it a lot on, on, on this kind of, not on this job, but on some convertible top that make it out of fabric and you cannot put a hot air. You put that steamer and hot water. And if it, the wrinkle is not that big, it will come out easily. But if it, the wrinkle it is so big, you have to make some adjustment on the top. What kind of adjustment? Cut it or try to put it to a different ways. Most of the time, if the wrinkle is small, the steamer will help you to uh, disappear the wrinkle. So uh, this was just an idea, guys, how you can make a convertible top. Just an idea. I showed you from the beginning how you can take them apart, start cutting, tracing. That the cutting process, the tracing process, it is so important because if you don't trace it good, uh, uh, at the end will be a. It's not going to look good, believe me. If you don't trace it good, it's not going to look good. Better to spend some time. If you're going to make a convertible top, uh, see me, it's not necessarily have to be like this way. It can be a 2032, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, four coup, 34, 36, four coup. The process is similar. It is similar, so similar. But those cars from the 1984, 1994, all those ones are different. Are different. And there it is. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your passion. Um, the purpose of this channel is just to give you an idea how you can uh, make car interior. And I didn't have a convertible tab on my channel. I just have like a song gallery, like photo slider, that convertible tab that I made before, but nothing like this. And I decided to show you this because a lot of people were asking me, oh, can you make a convertible tab? Do you make a convertible tab from scratch? And I told them, yes, I made it from scratch. Just when I had the opportunity, I will uh, record it. Because one thing is you made it, but you don't have a time to record it. That is, uh, you have to concentrate 100% on the job. Uh, that's why, um, Sometimes I don't have like time to record, but I haven't done a lot. Impala, uh, Bel Air, uh, Falcon, Malibu, all those kind of convertible top like Mustang, you know, Mustang. Today, a convertible, uh, convertible top for a uh, Mustang, they sell a lot. Uh, you'll just see it online. Uh, where I can get the convertible tab uh, for a Mustang 1969, 1959, and you will see a lot of place online. And customers see that too. But the thing is, customer uh, they see the sample and they see the color and say, I don't like this color. I don't like this material. Uh, can you make it out of this material? When the customer say that, there is, there is when I has to make it from the scratch. I make a big, big, uh, mm, what was it, Cadillac, Cadillac El Dorado, I think, a big one, from a scratch, from a scratch, and it was like a, a nice color, it wasn't red, but it, it was like, it wasn't red, 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 but they didn't sell that, that uh, convertible top, so the customers uh, choose the material, the stay fast material, and order it, and I made it for him. I have some photos. Uh, those ones who make car interior, they, they are like an expert doing car interior, especially custom. They know what I'm talking about. When you are making an old convertible tab that it had like uh, windows, a front window and it had like chrome, you have to spend some time tracing that area because uh, a lot of customers want to see the cover. Most of the time when the, you close the window, driver, passenger uh, door, you close it, that chrome go inside the convertible top, right? And you barely can see it. But some customers wanna see the whole chrome. And then when you have to know how to trace it. And 
a lot of customers when you make the those kind of classic car convertible top they want like a, a small window and they want like tinted plus a uh, tinted window and they sell those plastic those kind of plastic too it is not clear it is tinted so there are a lot of things related to convertible top that you, if you don't have experience you might ask wow how they do this how they do that and always always to do something like that require experience require a, a experience and require time because you have to make it and you have to make it uh, let's say it perfect you have to make it perfect you have to make that convertible tab but that ain't look awesome and to that require experience especially when you are going to sewing when you are going to put a stop stitch when you are going to sew the window this window that i just saw me sewing in there it is small the piece was small some other uh, pieces are so big that you have to put them inside the machine and sewing and that is time and not only that a big piece inside the machine and that stitch has to come out straight, has to come out nice. So that requires experience. But if you never done something like this, don't worry about it. You are just on on, the, on, on that process, learning process, and you just have to practice it. Practice it and practice it and practice. That's the secret. Don't try to do something if you uh, the first and pretend it to uh, come out nice like this. If you never done something like this, um, but that it might not look good. But don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep trying and trying and trying. The big mistake. Your big mistake that you can make it is give up. That will be your big mistake. Give up. Um, so uh, making a convertible tab. It, it is not the hardest part on the upholstery. No. It is not a hard thing on the upholstery. There are a lot of different jobs that are harder to make a convertible tab from scratch. A lot of jobs. And those experts who are watching this video, they know what I'm talking about. Uh, like those uh, custom interior, you have to spend a lot of time, figure out uh, uh, the design, make sure to uh, those uh, line uh, match each other. Uh, the door panel, I have to uh, follow the uh, sequence from the kick panel, the door and the rear, rear quarter panel, have to follow like a certain sequence. Uh, you have to give like a certain shape and those one are hard compared to convertible tab so uh, this it is i would say this convertible tab is one of the easiest one to do it easiest one see it that way put it that way easy one and i give you an idea how you can make it uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy it guys if it, that was the if you enjoy it don't forget to hit the like button and here it is it is done see you in the next video